gosh. Can you, can you <laughs> Oh, wow. His little mustache won't stay on, but <laughs> uh, you are definitely getting some brownie points today. <laughs> nice backdrop, Sam. That's great. Yes, Sam. Nice thought. <laughs> I wanted to tie in the two destinations. Which was Sam, yeah, not easy. Oh, I love it. That's clever. Very Sam, nice. well done. And Anne, I don't know if you got skeletons as well as a cowboy get up with them. <laughs> I left them I left them out in the desert. <laughs> that was just your dead coyotes or something like Brought that. Brought his bottle with him, so he's okay. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, you look like you're at Blue Sky or Bishop's Lodge, either one. I got me some blue Chardonnay, people. This is in celebration of Katie. I don't know Ooh. if you can see it. Oh. 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 <laughs> yeah. What in the world do you have, John Cruz? Oh my gosh, he's got a steer horn. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Goodness. Right. Oh my gosh. You guys are great. Letting everybody in. Carol, if you want to welcome everybody, I am. Hey everybody, welcome. Anybody want to show off? Uh, Kelly, Kelly Max here. She's here and she's ready to hear you. Let's tell some stories. <laughs> well, I'll show off. All right, you go. I just flew in to Park City this morning. Oh, you did. To be yeah. appropriate for this great event. Wow. And behind me are the Park City Mountains, Wasatch Mountains. And next to me are my skis waiting for the snow. <laughs> we'll be here soon. Okay. Or what? Hi. We'll have to have you up to the resort. Thank you. Yes, I'll send you an email. Thanks. She was waiting for you to say that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're so close. Locking all those. Yeah, huh? I'm off of Silver Creek right now. Beautiful. Is there for the season or something? Or are you coming home ever? Ah, oh, we'll see. We'll see. If the snow comes, I'm not coming back. <laughs> all right. Well, you're lucky to have that option. <laughs> All right, EJ, what's going on with all the salad dressing? Yeah, I'm sure there's a story there. Yeah, so I saw that the theme um, for this week was perfect for a ranch. And in my opinion, <laughs> Hidden Valley is perfect for a ranch. Amen. Um, it immediately came to mind. Um, so that's why I dressed up as a bottle of Hidden Valley. <laughs> I've got my green cap. I've got the blue around my neck. Um, but that's not it. Um, I thought that there were other aspects of Hidden Valley that fit in with this week's theme. Um, so first, I don't know if you can see, I drew this today. Um, but it's got the rolling green hills, which you can see in the warmer months of Park City. And of course, it's got the beautiful blue skies. Beautiful. Oh, I think I want that as a souvenir. Maybe you can unwrap <laughs> it and send it her way. <laughs> yeah. I wanted to show you my backdrop. Okay. This is this is real, um, and it is a whole wall of old hotel room keys from all over the world. And um, my my grandfather-in-law traveled all over the world and saved these keys, um, mm. and so we were able to make a whole display um, in our media room. So really, they're really some cool ones. Uh, wow. Let's see if you can see them. This one's from the the Baden Baden. Has anybody heard of that? Yes. Yeah. Cool. yeah, it's huge. It's really fun. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I am impressed. It's a key key from the Baden Baden. <laughs> so I'll go. I'll, how I came to my theme and backdrop was the home on the range um, theme and looked up the song and Roy Rogers had recorded the song at some point and um, had a couple of movies with the name Santa Fe in them, like Lights of Santa Fe and South of Santa Fe, and then um, also a movie about Utah. So I thought it fit the theme. I was trying to channel uh, my Dale Evans, but she wore a hat way on the back of her head behind her big hair bumps, and I could not make it work with <laughs> hair bumps. So no hat for me. But I do have my cowgirl belt on that you probably can't see. Um, Nice. And uh, tried to, to channel a little old old west between the two destinations. 
Very oh. nice. Perfect. You're really great at going all in. We love it. Nicely done. Oh my gosh. Uh, Lori, we want to hear about you and the puppy. So go ahead. Yeah, well, this, this is Spencer. And he likes to get dressed up. However, he keeps falling asleep, and that's why we, he can keep losing. Him. He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't need. But, to and he lost his mustache somewhere. I don't know. If it's on the floor. But yeah, he's real good about this. And we're just sitting here in Cartersville. He got uh, since the COVID thing, our office has been closed, but we go in every once in a while. So I've got three dogs, so I, I rotate them and bring one with me when I go. And bring your doggy to work day. Yeah. And they just just lay there beside my desk. And I have to say, Spencer looks great. thrilled to be on the call. He just looks thrilled. <laughs> well, like I said, he keeps falling, but he loves to get up here. Like especially if I'm at the table here doing a, a jigsaw puzzle, he likes to get up. I've got tons of pictures of him sitting up here looking at it. So, <laughs> <laughs> please take a selfie, you guys that are so clever. Oh my God! Oh, I did. <laughs> Thank you, darling. And you well, too. My mustache today. was still on. I took it. So. <laughs> okay, good job. You too, John Cruz. You too, Sam. You too, Ann. You too, EJ. We've got some good stuff this week. Thank you, guys, for your participation. Wow. Uh, I'll take your puppy fishing with me. <laughs> fishing at the resort. So I brought my fishing hat and my waders. Hey, Taylor. It fit perfectly. I know you can tell. And then I've got my fishing custom lures ready to go. Hi. Yeah, see, yeah. And let's see, oh, I have my fishing pole here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh, I just caught a fish. <laughs> <laughs> That's a honker. You can go to the resort for me too, if I cook it, if I catch it for you, will you cook it up for me? Get that. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get out of these waiters and then I'll be back at the restaurant. I'll bring the chef. Gosh, thanks. We can't see your feet. That's kind of a wasted effort there. The, the oh, well, here. We got right, to see it. Got my oh, waiters. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. That is a sacrifice, LC. I'm telling you. That's good. Uh -oh. So, John Cruz, tell us about the Longhorn. This is uh, made out of turquoise. It is? Wow. I don't know if you can see the face of it. But, yeah. yeah. That's beautiful. Wow. That? Right. So I was just uh, I was just polishing it with my Maui Jim cloth. <laughs> <laughs> I use it for my boots as well. <laughs> Makes a great gift. Um, that's hilarious. That's you've done a great job this week, John. Thank you for Thank the you. effort. Yeah. Well, so, everyone. Anybody else? Yes. Hi, it's Lori. Hi, Lori. Hi. Hi. I just decided I couldn't wait to get to the lodge, so here I am at the lodge already. <laughs> You're in the bunkhouse. <laughs> yeah, it's a really, it's a, it's very sweet. I, I'm, I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm trying to take it all in. Um, really, the ranch spirit. Anyway, it's, it's, it's beautiful. So I look, look forward to learning more, and I do have the full outfit on. I don't know if you can see this, but um, oh, oh Spangle. Nice. nice. Can you see the dress, the skirt? Oh. I don't know if it look if you can see it, but get Randy to make a picture of you. Anyway. <laughs> it's fun. Well, you look lovely. Very western chic. <laughs> All right. Um, anybody else? We're going to announce the first five. As you may remember, we award the first five people to dial in after 355 with a little gift from the resort company. Gail, what have you got for us this week? We will be giving everyone an Alberish Resorts Wine Stopper, which everyone knows during this time, it's very important to keep your wine fresh. <laughs> it's needed on a regular basis. So this will ensure your, once you open that bottle, you don't have to drink it right away, make it last a little bit longer. We've got a wine stop for you. That's really great. And it's going to, I, I assume all of you are wine drinkers. If not, please let us know. We'll send it to somebody else. <laughs> and Butblaski, uh, Stella Carter, and Lori Meacham, and EJ Evans, and Lori Hedrick. If I don't have your mailing address, please email it to me at carol at retreatsresources.com. I'll send it on to Gail and she will get you a wine stopper pronto. So, 
Go ahead, Whitney. Well, just welcome. Thank you guys for going all in. You're so much fun to look at. It's just every week I just laugh more. I have, if I have deep laugh lines by the end of this season, it's because of all these calls. Because of you all. Uh, that's right. And that's a good thing. Uh, we want to welcome everyone. Um, if you are new to the call, just hang tight. These are fun. They're informal. Uh, they're a lot of fun. Um, so, and if you have any questions, please put them in the chat box and I'll get to those at the end. I'll moderate those. Um, otherwise, please keep yourselves muted. And uh, because we are recording and it keeps it, you know, nice, a nice recording for the future. All right, Carol, go ahead. Great. Um, I would, I do want to give a few seconds for anyone who's new to the call to introduce yourselves, tell us where you are so we can welcome you properly. Um, if you haven't been with us before, I see some names I don't recognize. Can you please say hello? Mm hmm. We don't have any shy people, do we? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, De Debbie, have you been with us before? Maybe she's muted. Aaron Hall. That seems like a new name to me. All right. Well, no, I've been here before. I, I go Lise Hall sometimes is my last name. So. All right. Well, welcome back. We're Thank glad you. you're here. Yeah, you're welcome. Okay. Um, without any further ado, we were we are welcoming back one of our favorite hotel global salespersons. She's become a terrific partner for us over the last six months. And I think I've said before, when you have Gail on speed dial, you know you don't have to worry about content. You know you're going to have wonderful hotels that are right up our alley, smaller in size, very luxurious and very unique to the destinations that they're in. And so as our uh, next series on our Hotel Hotties, the winners of this year's Hotel Hot List, the new, best new hotels in the world to open this year, we have two proud members of the Auberge Collection, and Gail is going to introduce you to those ladies. Go ahead, Gail. Oh, thank you, Carol. I'm always glad to be here. And if you can see my background, I decided to choose who I wanted to be with at one of these hotels. <laughs> so I'm choosing Matthew McConaughey the next time I get out of this house, which has been eight months now. Th this is who's coming with me. So <laughs> and he's from Texas too. He, we can share a private jet up. So it's going to be great. But I just want to thank you all again for giving us this time, and especially when we're not able to travel like we wish we were. It's so amazing um, to be able to have this opportunity to share these hotels with you. And these are two of my favorites. Um, actually, Blue Sky was my last trip before lockdown, so it has a special place in my heart. And Bishop's Lodge was my next trip that didn't get to happen. So it'll be my first trip as soon as I'm able to get out of this house again. But I just wanted to thank you so much and I'm so excited to share these hotels with you. And we're gonna kick it off with Kristen Starmer and she is over at Bishop's Lodge Hotel in Santa Fe. Kick it off, Kristen. Hello everybody, this is so much fun. Thank you for being here. I'm gonna share my screen, which I just learned how to do. So <laughs> hopefully this is going to work. Can you all see it? Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. <laughs> so we are beyond excited for the opening of Bishop's Lodge. It actually closed down over two years ago for a complete restoration, renovation, and to turn into an Albert's resort. And we are right at the cusp of reopening. And if you, if you don't know Santa Fe, Santa Fe is just an amazing city. It was founded in 1610. So long before the United States were even incorporated and has an incredibly rich history with a lot of Spanish and Native American influence. Um, and in this original city, Bishop Lammy was sent down to be the bishop, and he wanted to have a place to kind of retreat from the city center and think and just soak in the beautiful area. So he looked around and picked the most beautiful spot that he found, and that's where he put Bishop's Lodge. And what you're looking at is the original Bishop's Lodge, which was built in 1896, and it's still there today. You'll see it coming up. The, um, the lodge itself is set on 317 acres, so plenty of space to move around. It'll be great in these times when people wanna get out, lots of experiences to be had. Um, and it's perfectly situated with Santa Fe downtown out the front door, three miles away, and then Santa Fe National Forest out the back door. 
So all of our trails link up to the National Forest, so you can literally go for miles. There's no end to the adventures. Um, when you arrive to Bishop's Lodge, to the 317 acres, this is the reception building, and everyone will be personally greeted by someone, and then whisked off in their little gem cart to their different rooms, which as you can see from the resort map, we're scattered about the resort in different buildings. So you have a very intimate feel. It is possible to situate certain people in certain buildings there together or, or put them apart so everyone has their space. Um, this is the main lodge building. Um, Bishop's Plaza is there in the, begin in the center and it's bordered by the main lodge. And then what you see there on the right is actually our meeting space, 3,200 square foot ballroom, which is beautiful with high ceilings and windows. And then through the property, we have our very own trout stream. This is really exciting. And this is one of the reasons there were some delays in the construction. And one of them was that back in the 50s, when it was operating as a resort, tennis was very popular and they put in some tennis courts. And when they went to do the restoration, they found these tennis courts kept flooding. And they found out that they had actually plucked them right over what was a natural stream bed. So they pulled the tennis courts out completely and restored the stream and restocked it with trout. So we have our own trout stream and we'll do fly fishing, casting on the stream there on the property. In the main building, we're gonna have two restaurants. We're gonna have Sky Fire by Dean Fearing, who if you don't know Dean Fearing, he's been called the godfather of Southwestern cuisine. And he has a very successful restaurant, Fearing's in the Ritz Carlton, Dallas. And the food is amazing. So we're very excited about this. Um, we'll also have Two Dogs Cafe in that building. And you can see the architecture, they've stayed very true to the old Santa Fe and all of the artwork is actually restored original artwork that was in the building from before. So it's gonna be spectacular. This is the inside of Sky Fire. And as you can see, it has a beautiful deck that overlooks the whole Tosuki Valley. And there's a Kiva fireplace out there. You'll see a lot of fire features throughout the resort. Every room actually has a Kiva fireplace as well. Um, some of just the unique details that they're doing, aside from restoring the art, all of our pottery for the hotel restaurant is being made by a local artisan, handmade right now as we speak, called Whiskey and Fire, and it's just beautiful. So as you're at the resort, you'll see tons of little details that really make it special. Um, for event spaces, we have great outdoor event spaces. This is the restored chapel and chapel lawn. And pictured here is a wedding, but it's also a great place for a welcome cocktail reception or an evening dinner. We have an event lawn. We have a large outdoor area called the Mesa, which is really fun up above the stables where you can do um, a barbecue or really turn it into whatever you want. Our rooms, this is our standard room. So you can see also done in a contemporary um, Santa Fe Southwestern theme. We have, um, we're actually one of the sort of larger boutique of Irish hotels. We'll have a hundred rooms all set and done with suites. Um, and this is the bunkhouse. This is part of the room product and it's really exciting. It has 12 rooms in it and they made it to be kind of like an old ranch style. It would be a great place for a small get together. It was really kind of made for family reunions. Each room has a king bed and then it has an alcove that can open with bunk beds in it. So if you have families, it's a really fun spot and then they all have the middle to meet. This is one of our Kiva suites. We only have three. They're up at the top of the property. And this I would say is very romantic. It's all one room as you can see. It all has organic adobe construction in the old, old style and they all have their own plunge pool. Um, we like to say it's the art of discovery and the discovery of art at Bishop's Lodge. Art is an integral part of um, Santa Fe itself and it's going to be an integral part at the resort. We're going to have our own artist studio and we're going to have artists in residence and there will be programs around that for all of the guests. Um, we have the fly fishing. Our boutique is actually going to be, um, there's a boutique in town done by Natalie who's an ex-Vogue editor and she has agreed to do our boutique so there's going to be lots of fun shopping as well. And last but not least, the Bishop's Lodge stables have been a part of it since the 1800s. And those are also getting renovated and brought back. So we'll have our own horse stables with um, programs to meet the horses, programs for families, and of course, wonderful trail rides. 
So um, our opening date is set for March. Um, we are set to open Skyfire, which is very exciting, in November. Uh, most of the construction is done. We just decided to delay the opening a little bit just because of all the uncertainty going on in the fall. But we cannot wait to welcome you. And we actually are taking groups as early as the second week in March. We just have our, our first group coming in then. So I really look forward to working with all of you and thank you. Thank you, Kristen. I just want to add um, from the group standpoint, this is going to be a great group hotel for us and for you guys with 135 guest rooms, including the, uh, the bunkhouse with 12 uh, rooms. And then you have the larger, this is one of our biggest ballrooms um, in the brand. So this is one of the great hotel, um, great location. You're just right outside of Santa Fe, but you have all the spread out social distance that you need. And we are, we can do sites now, correct, Kristen? We've had sites happening and um, you can get a really good feel of the hotel now if you need to plan that meeting for next year. We can do sites. There's a big flurry of activity right now, just getting everything finished up for the opening of the restaurant. So we've put them on hold for a couple of weeks, but starting in November, we'll be able to, we just won't be able to host you on site just yet. Right. So, so excited about this hotel. It's gonna be incredible, incredible. And then we're going to jump over to uh, Katie, who is with our Logic Blue Sky and can't wait for you guys to, to see this hotel. Thank you, so I'll go ahead and share my screen. Give me just one second. I'm so excited to be able to present and start my first presentation since COVID, I think. <laughs> Here we go, looks good, everybody? Yes. Yeah, good. So I am very honored. I don't know if you read my bio, but I've worked for Aubert's Resorts for about 11 years. And I've had the opportunity to represent quite a few of the different resorts in the collection. And um, I was honored again to be on the pre-opening team of the Lodge at Blue Sky, which was a new build right outside, about 25 minutes outside of Park City in a town called Wanship, Utah. And we opened in June of 2019. Um, in that time, of course, you know from uh, being on the hotties list that we were on the Condé Nast hot list, but we also, in this very short period of time of being opened, um, have also made the Travel and Leisure top 100 resorts in the world and top 30 resorts in the U.S. And I think that's uh, quite telling just being open in COVID um, for you know less than a year we had before COVID of being open. Um, this is a great map showing our location. Most of you probably have not heard of Wanship, Utah. <laughs> it is um, 35 minutes from the Salt Lake City International Airport and 20, 25 minutes from downtown Park City. And of course, you know the Salt Lake City International Airport probably pretty well, but this makes us a really easy international destination for being such an experiential resort and having quite the remote feeling. It is a 3,500 acre ranch. Um, so as far as where the resort is located, the lodge is located on the property, you feel like you're out in the middle of nowhere, but with very, very easy access. If by chance you're talking to maybe a leisure group or maybe a group group, um, we are surrounded by some of the most beautiful international parks in the country. We have Bryce Canyon, Zion, um, Monument Valley and Lake Powell all within three to four hours of the property, which can make it a great uh, multi destination trip. And a lot of us are selling and looking at, you know, road trips at this point. So here's the lodge. Again, it was a new build. Um, if any of you ever used uh, other Park City resorts previously, like the Montage or the St. Regis, a lot of those resorts would utilize our activities at the lodge at Blue Sky Ranch. So the Blue Sky Ranch activities and function space had actually been up and running for about four years before the lodge opened. Um, our owners, Barb and Mike Phillips, they have a beautiful master plan for the whole concept of the lodge at Blue Sky. And um, the lodge was actually the last component of that to be built. So here at the top of the photo, um, you can see the Sky Lodge. This is our main lodge where our Utah restaurant, our bar, some of our function space, um, fitness center, and about 20 of our accommodations are located. 
And then over on the right hand side is another type room type. We have um, three different types. These are called earth suites. And the whole resort looks very organic and like it's growing out of the land. So the, these earth suites will actually have grass top roofs coming next year. So they'll really blend into the whole landscape of the property. And then at the forefront of the photo is our edge spa. We do have a five treatment room spa and the vistas from wherever you look, it's kind of like you get the RFP being in Utah for a beachfront property. <laughs> and I like to say that we don't have beachfront rooms, of course, but every one of our rooms has magnificent mountain views. This is our Utah bar. Um, very exquisite cocktails. We do a ton of whiskey tasting. I'll show you a picture in a minute, but um, you may be familiar if you've been to Park City with High West Whiskey. And High West Whiskey actually has their distillery on our property. Um, so we incorporate whiskey tastings and whiskey amenities and gift bags and all of that uh, very frequently. Um, they also rent out their function space. Um, they're only open for lunch. So you can rent out their function space for buyouts for dinner. And it's maybe a two minute walk from the Sky Lodge. So it's a great feeling to be have a distillery tour and an, an off-site dinner, but be right on property. Utah Restaurant, um, our chef Galen Zamara, he was a James Beard award-winning chef. It's very much American cuisine, very seasonal, um, with tying in the um, Asian influence, which I did not know about in Utah. Um, and the hotel, because we're only 46 rooms, which I didn't mention, we very frequently sell out as a buyout. Um, and then you can use all of the bar, the restaurant and everything as additional function space. We do have four two bedroom suites called signature suites. They're over 2000 square feet. So these are great for um, intimate board meetings. You can actually meet in the downstairs unit of the signature suite. And a lot of people are doing that right now during COVID. Our earth suites, all of our earth suites, again, now you can see the views. Um, every room has a view like this and they all have outdoor fire pits, super cozy. You can't see anyone else around you. I mean, you really just feel, I think in this time, what, what people are wanting and why, why Blue Sky is doing so great is because people want to connect with nature. They want space, they want to get out, but they want to really connect with nature. And as you can see, that's what we offer here at Blue Sky. Very organic, very grounded. The beds are actually on a platform that is on the ground. So you just feel everything's connected to the earth. And then we have five creek houses. These are my most favorite type of room. Um, they're standalone units and they sit right along Alexander Creek, which is the creek that one runs through the property is actually the main water source for the hotel. So when you're having your glass of high west whiskey, um, it's actually being brewed with the water from Alexander Creek running past these rooms. Um, they come with fly fishing poles. You can just take your whiskey, go outside and, and go catch a fish right outside of your room. Here's another photo of that. You're very much in the woods, but oh, maybe a two minute walk from the main lodge. And then activities. I think activities is definitely a highlight of the lodge at Blue Sky. We have maybe a 30 page activity guide for you um, for each season. And most of those activities do take place on property. Um, the equine program is a passion for our owner, Barb. Um, she actually is a foundation called Saving Gracie's. And I don't know if you saw, if anybody saw the, um, the horse thief drink card that was out in the docket. Um, for today's call, but she actually stole a horse, and there's the whole story you can read about um, because he was in he was dying, and so she has about 75 rescue horses right now, and has added to the collection, including cows, goats, chickens, and everything's a rescue. About 85 percent are rescue animals, and um, we incorporate those into our daily activities too, especially children's programs. And these horses are treated so well. They get days off, they get acupuncture, they get massage, um, so it's beautiful. And then the Weber River is maybe two minutes outside of the gates of the Lodge at Blue Sky, beautiful fishing waters. We also do um, longer day trips with all day fishing excursions. 
The Lodge at Blue Sky has an 18 stand clay shooting range, and it was designed by Lars Magnuson, who's one of the most renowned clay shooting um, designers in the world. And we also have some incredible instructors. So this is really fun if you have an incentive. It's very A-type personality, very competitive, um, great activity on site. Mountain biking. Every room comes with an e-bike, um, which makes mountain biking really, really easy. <laughs> and uh, the hundreds of trails all throughout property. And then heli skiing. So we have partnered with a local heli vendor and we do not only heli skiing, which I have to tell you is not just for black diamond skiers, expert skiers. We can take groups into terrain where if you're an intermediate skier, you can most definitely um, heli ski, which is quite the experience. We also do heli yoga, heli hiking, and heli mountain biking. And takes off right from the resort. Of course, these are again, the views from the Edge Spa. And one of my favorite parts, I don't have a picture of the um, forest of Ganesh, but we have an aerial silks yoga platform out in the forest. And we do forest bathing and uh, aerial silks classes out there. So here's High West that I was telling you about earlier. It's a beautiful venue. And then the arena is the number one wedding venue in Utah, um, but it's also a great um, socially distanced event space. It's 8,000 square feet. So we can have a U-shaped table where everyone is six feet apart and then also on the other side or on the 3,000 square foot terrace have their meals. The Tavern at Blue Sky, this is actually a large outdoor event space. Um, it's a large meadow where we can do barbecues, hatchet throwing, again, outdoor meetings. And then this is an actual old mining cabin where um, we can always set up a bar or do something like a blackjack in there. And that's the Lodge at Blue Sky. It's absolutely beautiful. If you're in the area, I'm flying into Utah. Again, it's a very easy commute to get out to the lodge. And we'd love to have you in first sight tour because as Kristen, she was just there a couple of weeks ago, she said, and it is really true, the pictures at all of our resorts and especially Blue Sky really just don't do it justice. Thank that's, you. That's, that's very true. I did just see it. And with most hotels, you see the pictures and you get there and like, oh, it's like the pictures. So that's nice. But I got there and I was blown away. It's even prettier than it shows. Oh, thank you. It really I think is. when I was there, I came home and I went to was supposed to show pictures of the hotel and I got so caught up in the surroundings that I ended up with about a hundred photos of animals and horses and deer and mountains. But just to kind of give you an idea of what it feels like when you get there, you're you're driving down the road and you they you go to the gate where they let you in and you may have to stop two or three times on your way to get up to the lodge. <laughs> to let elk run across the road. And it's not like one or two, it's like a herd of like 30 or 40. And then you make your way up and then the deer, a herd of deer will come across the way. And then what was funny is during COVID when we were closed, um, the security footage was, you know, snapping photos when something would walk in front of the port de and they, there's a moose that hangs out and it was right there in front of the front doors. Um, yeah. To get into the resort, you know, where you go into the resort, there's a moose just standing there. So it kind of gives you an idea. It's, it's, it's like nothing I'd ever seen before where you can go to this luxurious guest room and then walk out the door and see that kind of nature. It was just incredible. And I will yeah. add, I even went in February and I want to say it was very cold and it didn't matter. It was just, you know, you put on the coat. I did the Snow, snowshoeing. Um, it, it was just one of the most incredible experience. Like um, Katie and Kristen said, if you don't go, you don't get it. So if you're ever in the area, please, please let us know. And follow us on Instagram if you um, want to see more pictures, because a lot of the wildlife photos are really entertaining on our Instagram site. <laughs> <laughs> it is. You do kind of, yeah, it, it's definitely was interesting to see the security photos from when the hotel was, it was like it was open season at the hotel for all the animals to come out and just make their way up right to the door. Right. Really neat. But we'll open this up to, um, we'll see if uh, Whitney, if any questions come through or anybody wants to ask any questions. Yeah, just a couple. Um, 
how many rooms are at Bishop's Lodge again? Person's on mute. 135. Okay. No, 100, right? Sorry. I'm so sorry. I was on mute. <laughs> um, there are 100, okay, including the bunkhouse. We were going to have a few more, and we pared it back. So 100 would be the maximum keys for a buyout. And the, and the bunkhouse is roughly 12? Is right? it's, a, it's 11. There's 10. Oh, no, I'm sorry. It is 12. There's 11 regular rooms and then one junior suite for whoever's the grand poobah. <laughs> okay. I'm sure this, sure this group of planners has a lot of grand poobahs in, in it. So. <laughs> yeah. Um, and you, you mentioned, um, Katie, that each of the, um, not the earth, earth suites, but the little tent houses or whatever come with an e-bike. Is it just one or does one person have to pedal real fast or like, do, do you get two bikes or what is that? Yeah, like? yeah you get two bikes. And two they, bikes. so are you familiar with me with what an e-bike is? I live for e-bikes, yes. Oh, okay, I, good. I, I love them, yeah. Yeah, so they, we, and actually, um, we also have them at the front desk, so really, we have a fleet. You, anyone who would like an e-bike can have an e-bike. That's um, really And it really, it's a pretty amazing. It's quiet, so you don't have, like, that dirt bike feel and sound, but you can get so high up into our trails in the mountains on them. Um, and we have this amazing GPS app, uh, map app that will, you uh, of all of our trail system on the 3500 acre ranch so you won't get lost there's cell service forever um but it will guide you through all of the biking and hiking trails while you're on property good to know good to know um lori wants to know what the weather is like in santa fe in february so santa fe is actually at 7,000 feet so we do get snow but not a lot of snow so it'll be dusted the santa fe ski area which is a smaller one but really fun is about 45 minutes away and then taos is about an hour away and that's where katie actually lives you can say hi to katie if you had taos that's an amazing <laughs> ski resort as well so there is quite a bit of sun it's a lot like california so it'll be snowy but it'll be bright and beautiful okay then debbie wanted to know how many total rooms of blue sky and it's 46, is that correct? Yes, ma'am, yep. Okay, all right. Uh, what else? Uh, can I add to that? Sorry. Oh, so, so actually in all, we have, because we have some two bedroom units, we have 51 total bedrooms, if that helps with the buyout. Okay, um, let's see. I think that's it for the questions. Um, I love the fact that there's a stream, there's a creek going through the property and you can just kind of, you know, grab a whiskey, walk out with your little pole and jump in and do your thing. It's yeah. amazing. Both, both resorts. Yeah, both resorts for sure. Only and the hiking. In, in Santa Fe, you'd take a tequila with you. <laughs> yeah, the Margarita Trail. I, I've, I'm trying to start the Margarita Trail myself. <laughs> um, <laughs> The, the hiking at both properties and the biking and the skiing, I mean, it's really just, and both destinations are, you could go any time of year and it would just be beautiful and so much to do. Um, one person asked, Laurie wants to know, what is the weather in November at Blue Sky? November, again, every, it's all, all mountain destinations, I would say, have an off season, and November would typically be considered an off season. Um, you could take advantage of things like mountain biking, hiking, definitely fly fishing. It's going to be a similar season in Santa Fe. Um, the weather is going to be a 70 degree, beautifully sunny day with a chance of maybe it being a snowstorm and four inches of snow on the ground and then the next day it being gone. Okay. Would you agree, Kristen? Yeah, definitely. It can go either way in November. It'll be cool. Um, you could have snow, you could have sun. Most things are available, probably not the horses, but it's a nice value time to come. And with all the different fire features both at both resorts, it's a really cozy time to be there. So I wouldn't shy away from it. Okay. No, definitely not. And and at both places, the skies can be so crystal clear blue. And when that sun is shining down on you, it it you could be in a t-shirt. Okay. And what about golf at both properties? 
I'll let you start, Kristen. Okay. We have great golf options close. There's three golf courses within 35 minutes, the closest one being about 20 minutes. Um, Las Campanas is probably the best known. It's a private course, but we can get some, some guests on there. And then um, Black Mesa, and there's a third. So great golf options all within 40 minutes. And we're, we're kind of in the similar boat. I mean, I would hope that people would take advantage of some of the amazing, unique activities, like heli adventures that we do have to offer. Um, but we do have three private golf courses that we have relationships with within about 20 minutes from the resort. Okay. And, and your spas. Um, can you guys <clears throat> talk about the, the spa experience at each property? Sure. Yeah. Go ahead. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'll let Katie finish up because hers is open, but ours is called the Turquesa Healing Arts Studio, very much tying in with the art and taking on a lot of the Native American traditions. And I think Alberge does a beautiful job with spas and they're very careful to curate the experience to be a part of where you are. And with both beautiful resorts, um, our spas reflect that. Um, I uh, just seen the one at Blue Sky, it looks out to the river and um, it's an integral part of the well-being that we want people to feel when they're there. Absolutely. And at Blue Sky in COVID, um, we've done quite a few treatments along the Anderson Creek um, in the forest, which is pretty amazing. Um, as you saw in the pictures of the Edge Spa, um, there's floor to ceiling windows so you feel like you're indoors but outdoors and they actually crank open if it's nice enough to have them open so the breeze is on you and you are basically outdoors. Um, the, the spa room, treatment rooms at the Lodge at Blue Sky I think are some of the largest I've ever seen. Um, we also incorporate products and for example sage that's picked on the property into our treatments um, just like in Santa Fe, the, the indigenous people are part of the Lodge at Blue Sky and their treatments and um, healing, you know, uh, is also, they're, they're kind of similar in the same, in, in the same, I think. Um, yeah. Nice. That's what I think that, that your properties do really well is the integration of that particular locale in, in every touch point. Right, it's not just you know in the in the main areas, but it's you know the products and the the textiles and the the artwork and everything is you you feel like you're really saturated in that space in that in where you are in the, in the country. Yeah, definitely, and I think something about the lodge at Blue Sky that they've done really well and to set themselves apart maybe from their ranch competition is that the design element is super modern. Um, so it doesn't have a lot of the rawhide and antlers and things of that sort. It's very streamlined and, and not that antlers aren't elegant, but it's definitely elegant and different from a lot of the other ranch properties in the U.S. Yeah. And, you know, speaking of kind of that immersion in, in the culture there, tell, tell us a little bit about the cultural activities at each property. I don't if I don't know if, they, if are they up and going yet or the menu. We are just creating ours. It's really exciting. We um, our cultural um, experience manager is actually shared with Blue Sky because she's so good at what she does. She um, so she's been meeting with local artisans. Where um, art is obviously a very big part of Santa Fe. So we're getting together our artists in residence program and how they'll interact with the guests. Um, all different mediums from paint to photography to pottery so that will be a big part of what we do um, the native american influence is very strong in santa fe as well so she's meeting with local leaders um, to see what elements we can bring in our welcoming phrase is going to be from a local tribe um, and and we would like to do off-site activities at the different like bandolier that's all the different um, historic sites around Santa Fe that you'd like to visit to be incorporated into what we do. So lots more to come. Um, Blue Sky is a good barometer to look at for what we're going to do. We'll be at least as built out with things specific to Santa Fe. Yeah, our director of activities and culture is, she's super creative. Um, brilliant, really. 
in coming up with all of her ideas. At the Lodge at Blue Sky, I think that the agriculture and the um, life, livestock um, have a huge part of activity at the property. There's farm tours, there's, um, yeah, they're meeting the horses. They're gonna start a cheesery, I think that's what you call it, um, with, from the from the cows on the property to go make your own cheese on property, which is super cool. Um, again, my husband's a full-time ceramic artist and they've included all of his work in the rooms um, with some opportunity for ceramic experiences. Um, lots of plein air painting. I mean, you're in these views. So you, you just wanna take something home with you, photography, paint, uh, your own painting of what you see. Um, so there's, yeah, there's quite a bit of culture and it's taking in the environment in which you're in. Well, sharing all of that, um, I think we've answered everything in the chat box that I can see. There's one oh. other question that we didn't, uh, we might have just danced around it, but could you go, ladies be specific on what are the high and low seasons and shoulder seasons at each of your properties? I think they'll probably be similar. I'll go yeah. first. So um, high season is certainly June through about the third week in October um, with July and August because we have a lot of cultural festivals in Santa Fe. We'll be very tight space wise because we have so many leisure guests and the demand is up. Shoulder season would be March, April, a little bit of May and kind of latter half of October. November, December, and then low season would be January, February. Um, best time to get deals, but as Katie mentioned, it's still a really beautiful time to be there with the blue skies and the vistas. And... Yeah, I would say at Blue Sky, um, and I did not mention this, we are not a ski and ski out property. We are again, 20 minutes outside of Park City, but we have our own private ski lounge in downtown Park City, and so it's actually, you kind of own it, especially if you have a buyout, you could throw events there. Um, your boots are there, your skis are there, they're warm and ready to go. Um, operate ski events in the lounge. Um, so I would say our shoulder seasons at this point would be the last two weeks of April and November. Anything else is kind of right now pretty hot. You're a hot ticket, Katie, I tell you. Well, ours might shrink, ours might shrink too, so I will say. Uh, it will. Great rates for the first year, so book now. Uh, yeah. Generally. Also, is there anything for less active or older guests to do? I would say definitely a lot, Katie, as well, but um, just the art and the culinary, culinary arts. Um, you could not walk or do anything the whole time and be so entertained um, with the art galleries and shopping and just visiting all the restaurants. I have to be careful not to gain 10 pounds every time I go to Santa Fe because it's so good. I would say um, for Kristen, just being an hour and a half away from Santa Fe, that Santa Fe is a fantastic, I would say one of the best destinations for somebody in the older group of people to to visit i mean it's it's per, it's perfect um there's so much to do as far as the museums and the walking and the galleries and the eating it's just it's ideal um for for blue sky i mean again we have that 30 some page adventure guide and there's so many different um, things for less active people to do especially in the arts the clay the clay shooting is a great option too um, hiking. Yeah, so it, it's definitely diverse and catered to all. And don't forget spa. Oh, it's oh, spa. Yes, spa. Yeah. <laughs> don't forget That's spa. my favorite place to park myself. Yeah. <laughs> and speaking to that demographic, don't forget the whiskey. You have whiskey. Yeah. Sure. Tequila. Just the hand motion. Tequila. That's, That's right. That's right. All right. Well, thank you, ladies. This was highly educational, highly entertaining, and very, very beautiful. Both of these properties are stunning. Um, Gail, do you want do you have any wrap up to, to yes. do? Okay. Yes, just thank you again. Um, I just want, I've got two uh, quick wrap ups. Um, first, I just wanted to thank everybody for all of their kind words and reach outs for our 
Calistoga Ranch in Napa. Um, we're heartbroken and just wanted to let you know that we are, we did find out that it is, it was completely devastated. So it was, you know, you wait and try to find out and get final word. And um, so it was devastated um, during the fires. Um, and we are, you know, starting the process of relocating our workers where we can. Luckily, we have another hotel that will be opening in Napa that will be able to hopefully, you know, transition some people there, some of our other properties in Napa, as well as um, hopefully some in these new hotel openings and, and even further. So thank you for all your thoughts and prayers. It's as, as soon as we know more, we'll let you know, but it is going to take a while to build. Um, the good news is, is that Solage and Alberta de Soleil are opening this weekend. And um, so they're back at it and they've got some staff coming over from Calistoga Ranch, but it's going to be a journey. So um, your continued, you know, thoughts and prayers are appreciated. And, you know, 2020 just keeps on giving. So keep them, keep them in your hearts. And then just one more thing, um, as, you know, times have changed and, People are looking for different ways to um, incentivize their people or to gift their people. We do have our Burj uh, Resorts Collection uh, gift certificates now. And you can buy them in smaller donations, larger donations. So if you're wanting to do something um, for your people and you can't really do a group per se, um, if you want to do individual gifts or just something for your holiday party, um, we do have those available now as well. So just trying to transition and help people, you know, find a way to reward people, um, maybe in a different way for just a little bit longer. But we thank you for all your time. And you never, you guys never seem to uh, surprise me with your, the way you can get up and get dressed up for these things. So I have got two giveaways today. And I'm going to go first with um, uh, Bishop's Lodge. And I have to go with Lori and her dog. Yay! <laughs> like, I'll go with you when you go, Lori. And of course, the dog would really love it too. Of course, we're going to be pet friendly. I didn't mention that. <laughs> Thank you. And then this was tough. So I'm going to have to say that let's do for the Logic Blue Sky for the two nights, I am going to go with Leah. Because any girl who can put on those waiters like oh, that, God, Leah Kaplan, I'm, yay. I'm gonna get I'm Leah not. out to Blue Sky and let her use those live and in person. And the fishing is so good; you're gonna love it. I hear it's beautiful. <laughs> yeah, that's great. So thank you so much, and I'll turn it over to yeah. Kelly. Thank you, Gail, and that was an awesome presentation. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, Katie. Thank you, Kristen. That was. Phenomenal, I feel like I've transcended. And I'm in wide open spaces. Um, I'm gonna go today with the most creative and that is just Miss Emily Evans. <laughs> <laughs> what a great take on ranch, Emily. Great creativity. Thank Please you. enjoy your Maui gems or Zeal sunglasses on us and I'll let you choose from Zeal goggles if you would like to do that for a winter destination too. Thank you. Great costume. That's fantastic, y'all. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just want to give a shout out to Carol and Whitney because they have been the lifeline to a lot of us hoteliers and I'm sure to you guys as well that we are trapped for the first time that we've ever <laughs> have been in our life and even though we may be able to go somewhere some states just won't let us in so we are we appreciate you guys so much and the opportunities that you give us and thank you. Thank you guys. I, I, I agree. I mean, I think we all need joy and humor right now. And I know a lot of you look forward to Wednesdays and for that, we're super grateful. So thank you for, I was worried today because um, I didn't know if I'd have very many people buying into the whole home on the range, wide open spaces idea, but wow, I'm loving the creativity and y'all that um, are taking home prizes today well deserves. So thank you so much. Um, next week, we're going to be finishing up our Hotel Hotties series, and I haven't really talked to Whitney about this. I talked to one of our presenters this morning, and I would like to celebrate uh, in October Breast Cancer Awareness. 
so I'd like to kind of play with Think Pink next week. Our presenters are two from the hot list that really don't have much in common with each other. One of them is a brand new resort that has been built around as an historic uh, uh, kind of a hot springs in Arizona. It's called um, uh, Castle Hot Springs Resort. It's very interesting. It's little, but very interesting. And then we have the Hotel Bennett with us, um, the Hotel Bennett in Charleston, as you know, the one of the newest places to open in Charleston. He's got uh, his chef participating. So we're gonna be doing some baking. I just want to give you all a little heads up. There's going to be a, a recipe sent out and there may be some supplies that need to be acquired if you're good in the kitchen. I don't want to spoil too much, but he, he's going to do some baking and some of that uh, output is going to celebrate Think Pink or Breast Cancer Awareness. And we're just trying to find some ways to celebrate that. If any of you are um, participating in any fundraisers for breast cancer this month, uh, if you will send me your information and your link, we'd like to sponsor you um, to some degree anyway. Um, as a survivor, I want to support all of you who run, bike, walk, swim, whatever it is you do uh, to help with uh, breast cancer research. So please let us know if that's in your October plan. And I don't know about dressing up. I think that Whitney has been a little careful about uh, staying too far away from the whole hottie idea, but I'm saying next week, if you've got game, bring it, and we'll be laughing a lot. <laughs> well, good, Carol. I was afraid you're going to say we're all going topless, and I was just about to die. So <laughs> we are. We'll I'm figure it out. <laughs> I'm not afraid of a boob joke here and there. I'm just not afraid <laughs> of that. So <laughs> we will figure out something fun for next week, uh, as as we always do over a glass of wine. And uh, again. Thank you so much, Gail and Katie, Gail. And Austin, mm -hmm. for your, you know, your support. Um, we couldn't do this without you. Uh, this, this would be really a, rather boring if it was just uh, Carol and, and me doing these. So uh, we appreciate your support and your cooperation and your, just your sharing, you know, your wonderful properties with us and with our planners. And uh, it is not, it, it is not go unappreciated. I'll tell you that. We get uh, comments all the time after the fact with these calls. And um, just a little side note, we just got some information from our webmaster last week on how many views of these, of, of these videos that we get, and it, it's amazing. So I'm gonna put that out there to you a little later on. This is a residual thing. It's not just hidden somewhere. We want to support you in an ongoing fashion. So, um, Thank you so much for your for your cooperation and your partnership with us. We're making you famous behind the scenes. Check yourself out on YouTube. <laughs> Hundreds of views. Oh. <laughs> so yes, don't forget your selfies. I want to do Gail a solid tomorrow. Gail and Katie and Kristen by making sure that everyone knows how fun much fun we had today. Uh, it gives us an opportunity to promote them for another couple of days. So please send me your pictures, or I'm going to have to them on, have them off the screenshots, and they're not as good. <laughs> All right, so we'll see you next week. Think pink. Have fun. Have a fun night. Thanks, Thanks everybody. everybody.